Hi, Lady Nefertiti BK back. I said I was going to do a hair update and a eyebrow update. And I'm wondering if I should, maybe I should just discuss my hair in this one and do the eyebrow in the next one, okay? Uh, well, anyway, in the last video uh, where I showed what I got in my pinch me box, I had my wig on. So now I have not applied my um, Shea Bay, uh infused oil yet. So I'm going to do that with you guys while I'm talking. Okay, so let me take this off. And the reason why I have the same top top on, I'm putting out about three videos today. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm putting out three videos. So this is how my hair is looking. And yes, that is my natural hair mixed in there. Okay, and in the back. Oh, yeah, looking kind of crazy. I have it pinned. Um... My hair, my natural hair is, is, is growing at an average rate. It is growing, you know, at the rate it would normally grow. Or, or it might be even a little bit slower than that. Okay, and this is what I have left <sighs> from all the hair fall. This is all I have. So, yeah. So that's what I'm dealing with right now. And um, let me take this off so you guys can... Uh, and so, so my hair is extra, extra short up here. And as I told you, um, before I will not be relaxing my hair this year or next, I will not be putting heat on my hair. Um, I'm trying to give my hair an honest try. I'm trying to let it be able to do what it needs to do without causing damage, um, messing up the retention thing. Um, I'm just trying to see if I do not use any chemicals, if I don't color it, if I don't use any heat, meaning no flat irons, no blow dryers, none of that, if I will get all of my hair back. So I'm trying not to get too frustrated. I've done all the crying I'm going to do. I'm not crying no more. I'm just doing what I need to do now, and I just want to see. So in order to see if that's going to happen, I have to actually give it a try. And if I'm putting heat and stuff on it, that's not giving the hair a try. That's, that's missing with progress. To me, I feel like that's missing with progress. So this is how it's looking. And I know you're going to say, oh, my goodness, Lady Nefertiti, you're, you're, you know, BK, your hair is just a mess right now. But I'm hoping with my realistic goals. See, all this is broken off right here, all broken off on the top, all of that. So, yeah. So the oil, I got my Shea Bay infused oil. And for those that are new to my channel that have never watched any of my videos, this oil is infused with um, grapeseed oil, uh, Jamaican black castor oil and almond oil. That's what's in here. Okay. So I'm um, going to go ahead and so I saw my doctor and my doctor was telling me, which I never knew. I always thought that alopecia was when you have bald spots, when the hair falls and you have actual bald spots. Um, I don't have bald spots. And a matter of fact, the areas that was thinning is thickening up now. And none of my areas are see-through where the scalp is concerned. Like the first, I don't know, two, three inches is not thin or see-through. So, um, but the rest of, you know, with the parts, let me put it this way. The hair that's relaxed has broken off and is breaking off. Okay, so... Um, uh let me let me update that i wouldn't say is broken off um it has broken off it's not breaking off any more and there's another product that i'm using that one of my subscribers told me about and i have to say thank you for that it's called ola plex which i'll do a video on that too i got a chance to use it and when i used the ola plex um i didn't see any hair uh, this time in the shower. 
So I want to thank that subscriber that told me about that. Uh, but anyway, um, so the hair fall has stopped is what's going on. Now my hair is growing, you know, slowly. It's growing slowly. And um, I have to say at its average rate. But now it's it's not falling out anymore. It's just, you know, <sighs> trying not to get disgusted here. Trying, trying, trying. So this is how it's looking. This is how my hair is looking. And all this up in here is, uh, it's all natural up in here. It's all natural up in there. So I don't know how it's going to look uh, by the end of this year or next year. I plan to give my hair an honest-to-goodness try um, without messing with it by using heat, hair color, blow dryers, flat irons. You know, I have put that stuff away. So it's just, it's all about moisturizing and, um, and adding my oil to it. And, you know, and this is what I'm doing. I use my fingers for down here. I don't comb through this. And then I just twist, I twist my anorexic hair and um, add a little bit more oil to it. <sighs> pray for me, you guys, really pray for me. Okay. I know some people are saying, well, pray for your hair. That's so, that's so idiotic. That's so childish, but they don't understand. <laughs> they don't understand. This has to do with, with, with the appearance. Some of us care. Some of us could care less about hair. They're, they're okay if, I, if they don't have any hair. Um, I'm not one of those. So <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and say, I don't care about hair. I do care about hair. And I do care about losing hair. So let me not lie to you guys like that. <clears throat> so adding my oil. And I noticed that when... I add my oil and then I use my little strip of scarf like this on my hair to lay it down. It actually lays it down. It's, I thought by now I would start having a problem because my natural hair and relaxed hair is absolutely nothing alike. Nothing alike. And you will see that as the year progresses and i hope you guys follow me because i am dead serious about this hair journey i'm very 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 serious and i have not decided if i'm going to go completely natural or if i may relax again in a couple of years i don't know i haven't decided on anything yet but i can tell you this i will not be relaxing this year or next i can definitely say that and um and I will, oh, I'm going to have to, you know, deal with the wigs and not weaves, but deal with the wigs so I can get to my hair every day. And see, and there's my anorexic hair. Look at that. Oh, so sad. So. Okay. All right. And then what I do after I do that, put this on. I said I wasn't going to cry. Hold on. Okay, I do apologize for that. Um, my doctor was telling me that alopecia, alopecia is when the hair just falls out. It's not just when you just have bald spots. And I always thought alopecia was only when the hair just falls out from the scalp and you have bald spots and all that. So what he said he was going to do was um, uh, more blood work. And if, if they have to up my meds, they will. He told me no heat, no chemicals, none of that. He said, let the hair be. And so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, I have absolutely no plans of breaking that rule. I'm going to stick with it. And you're going to be surprised at just how easy it's going to be for me not to break that rule. Okay, so what I'm thinking is that for the summer, what I might do for the summer, 
because it gets so hot here. Oh my goodness, it gets so hot here. I'm thinking about maybe doing um, uh, big braids, you know, so that I could wear a bun if I want to wear a bun or half up and half down if I want to. I don't know. Um, I'm not even sure if I'm going to do the braids or not, but I was thinking about it because it gets hot here and me being hot one minute and cold the next is not, is not working out too good. <laughs> not working out too good. So I don't know if the wig thing would work for the summer when we get up in the eighties and nineties and sometimes over the hundreds. Okay. So I'll, I'll just have to see how, how it goes by the time I get there. If I have enough hair at the time, um, I may just pull out my flexi rods and do some flexi rod sets. Um, I may do the roller set on, on the hair. Um, air drying, of course, not getting under a dryer because I'm not going to be using any dryers, flat irons or anything like that this year. And um, just see how that goes. So you guys make sure you follow my journey. Follow me this year because this is going to be a honest to goodness journey. You're going to see me go through it. I'm going to share it with you all the way. So just um, just hang in there, stick with me, and you will see a true, hopefully a true transformation because uh, I'm doing this. I am doing this. So thank you guys so much for watching. Yes, I am still using my infused Shea Bay oil. And, um, and I'm still sticking to everything I told you guys I was doing. Nothing has changed. And uh, the next one is going to be my eyebrows. Oh, the eyebrows. If my hair would only do with my, what, what my eyebrows are doing, um, I would be okay. Because... <laughs> eyebrows everywhere. But anyway, I'll be back with that. You guys take care. Thank you so much for watching. And again, I apologize for crying on camera. You take care. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.